Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hello YouTube, it is me, Random Ross, and welcome to a new random review from me. So, if you guess from the intro there, no, this isn't a review on Central Intelligence, I reviewed that sometime last summer. So, today I'm reviewing Baywatch, directed by Seth Gordon, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Zac Efron and Alexandra... Deb De Balba. I'm gonna butcher her name anyway, but you know, she was that girl that was in um, 20 uh, on uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and um, the um, and San Andreas with The Rock. So this is Baywatch. It's a remake of the late of the end of the 80s, and it was on throughout the 90s. Beach drama. It's, um, it's a remake of that, but of course. It's been remade as a comedy because they did it with 21 Jump Street. They did it with um, Chips, remade them as comedies. It only makes sense that they remake Baywatch as a comedy. I don't know why they're remaking a lot of you know dramas and that as comedies, but somehow for me they work. So um, basically, if you know of the beach, if you know of the nighty show, um, you know that Dwayne the Rock, Dwayne Johnson plays the plays the character Mitch, M M Mick, Mitch, um, and Zac Efron plays uh, Brody, and of course we have the beautiful CJ in it, not played by the Alexandra girl. No, I can't remember what her character was now, but we do get a, a, her character portrayed by a uh, model Kelly Summit. I can't remember her name. But let me tell you, she is fine. Uh, you know, I just, you know, when I was watching the movie, I was like, when all the girls were like running in their cozies or bikinis and that, and their, you know, boobs were juggling and that, I was like, oh, very nice. So, um, yeah, what happens is, uh, they're playing lifeguards, if you, obviously, at a beach called, you know, em Emerald Bay, and they're the Baywatch team. So what happens is um, they discover that this woman, this like drug lord woman, is wanting to buy the bay and make it private, and also make a drugs deal uh, while she's at it. And because the police won't get off their asses and do it, they go out and solve the case themselves. Even though they're not policemen. So, um, next thing, you know, they have a wacky comedic, you know, dilemma with it. And, yeah. So, um, that's basically what happened. So, what did I like about this film? I like the comedy that The Rock and Zac Efron gave us. I mean, Zac Efron, I mean, I never liked, I didn't like him in High School Musical. I didn't like him doing serious drama, but comedy for me seems to work with Zac Efron. And, you know, I do like him for comedic purposes because, you know, it's funny in that. The Rock, he is also the same. He does good in action and comedy. And, of course, this is both action comedy. And he was great in it. Another thing I liked was the cameos. Now, with it being a remake of such... And I, such a well-known TV show, it had to, I knew it was going to have cameos from Hasselhoff and Anderson. And what do you know, David Hasselhoff did have a cameo in this. He was 
well, I think reprising his role as Mitch. And, um, yeah, him and The Rock have a, a meeting uh, in one part where they're in a, a phone shop. I won't give too much away on that. And then there's another bit where they're bantering in during the credits. You know, you know, be sure to stay during the credits. I mean, not after the credits, just during them. Because there are some outtakes and there are... There is like a bit of a credit scene where him and the him and the Rock and the Hoff are just bantering amongst each other, and that and the Hoff and the Hoff saying, "Can I be in the sequel?" Uh, also, we do have a cameo from Pamela Anderson. I was waiting for the entire film, you know, to see her cameo because I knew she was going to appear in it. So yeah. Um, so what did I did it? What was my dislikes? Again, not a lot to dislike. Um, I mean, the soundtrack were all typical summer hip hop and what have you, but uh, you know that's not my sort of music. So I guess I did not like that. Um, apart from that, I don't think there's much for me to dislike. Uh, the cinematography was sorry, some happened there, technical problem. Um, but yeah, like I said, the cinematography was spot on. It was good, entertaining. I do recommend it to you. It is a fun film to watch. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Baywatch a... I'm going to give it uh, four red floaty things that they have out of five. So that's been my review on Baywatch. Also, um... I have a Q&A uh, that I uploaded the other day on the 29th of May. Um, you can, um, you know, I'll pop a link at the end of this video for you. It's a Q&A video marking my third year on YouTube. So, um, you know, if you want, ask me anything. You know, you have until... Uh, you have until the 12th of June. The 12th of June to get your questions in, uh, you know, on the video and that. I've already got a couple questions, so there you go. Um, also, you can ask me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. They're all linked down below. Um, also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the big red by hitting the big red notification subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay notified every time a new video is uploaded to this channel and um i don't think there's anything more to say apart from till next time i bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye <laughs>